The views expressed by the guests of The Real Showcast oh, yeah. do not necessarily represent the views of The Real Showcast or its hosts. Enjoy the show. up everybody welcome to the real showcast i'm your host Tommy mac and with me once again like a i don't want to say a bad rash i can't get rid of but that's all right i'll take it but something along those lines i just can't get rid of him Mm-mm. but it's great because i love him so much eric stretch i am back he's back i and, am uh, so happy to be back for those that don't know eric eric and i were in a boy band together called no, no authority. authority and uh we toured all over the place and 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 live together. So he's he's basically he's like my brother. Yeah. Um. So when I call him a rash, it's all <laughs> it's, all right. it, it's all love. There's I, a I, 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 I saw their, their faces. They're <laughs> he's a rash. <laughs> well, I'll take that. But I am here also very very thrilled and excited to introduce our next two beautiful guests. It's my pleasure to introduce from the hit NBC TV show. California Dreams. They start as Sam Wu, Samantha, and Tiffany Smith. Please welcome to the Real Show cast, Jenny Kwan and Kelly Packer. <laughs> Thanks. Hi guys. Thank it's you my guys rash. For coming. <laughs> I kind of am. A lovely, a lovely, lovely rash. Again, so excited that you guys are on here. Thank, Thank you. you so so much. Thanks for having us. Of course, I, it's our pleasure. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out. Uh, we. Just we'll start with the basics, right? Yes. For 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 those that may not be familiar with the show, sure. Tell us a little bit about the show and about your character. If you, okay. Go you can it. start. Oh, I'm starting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All well, you. the show was basically not a spinoff, but it was um, came from the idea born from the Saved by the Bell era, right? Mm-hmm. So okay. the Peter Engel, mm-hmm. Peter Engel yes. production, same producer, right. same yeah. director. Yeah. So um, a tween show, a uh, half hour sitcom. Our show had music. So, um, yes, it did. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, it did. Sorry, I'm getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then I'm supposed to talk about my character? Yeah. Well, I'm going to go backwards. Okay. Can I go backwards? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. You go so, sideways, diagonal. It's like the walk of Vader. Uh, well, I'm flexible. Any direction. So I'll, 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 I'll go that way. Um, so, basically, originally, when the uh, auditions came out for the show, they the breakdown wanted, you know, the, um, I don't want to say typical, but California. Um, beach girl, sure. you know, living in LA, born and raised. And it's funny because Kelly and I, and actually another friend of ours, auditioned for the same part. So in my Ooh, experience, to network to for network the same part, all nice. the oh, wow. way yeah. to the end, mm-hmm. all the way to the end. And those that don't know, when you get like that's, that's they, they've been yeah. through round after round yes. after round. And we had, I had nine auditions. That's nine why auditions. Wow. we had a lot more auditions than normal <clears throat> because we also auditioned in the in studio. The studio. Mm-hmm. So for example, I remember I was sitting in the studio, uh, the studio that was on Sunset, and I remember hearing you. I, and me too. She was stressed out because she was sick. Mm-hmm. But I was like, I could hear actually in the waiting room, and it was so. And then, sweet. What do you mean here? You could hear the. Me singing. I could hear her singing. Uh-huh. Okay, she could so hear me singing. So I remember what she sang for her audition. What so. did she sing? <laughs> um, where do broken hearts go? Uh, yes. Yeah, and I just remember going, oh, I can just leave now. <laughs> no, no, I mean it, it, it was, was amazing. Uh, so I love the fact that they actually had you guys sing we and had read. To, yes, so it was like a theatrical. To. That's why we had mm-hmm. so many auditions because yes. they gotcha. wanted to make I think sure. Four were in the music studio Correct. for mine, and then five were right with right. Right. So come to network and um, here we are. We're all, you know, paired together or, you know, our the grouping our mm-hmm. categories mm-hmm. are all around. And it was like, wait a minute. We looked what? at each other because the other girl is Hispanic. Yeah. So I, I, me, I'm like, well, <laughs> clearly they want to look, right? They're either going to go Asian, Hispanic or me, right? Yeah. But and, it was so and, weird. And it was funny because all three of us are born and raised yes. in Los oh, Angeles right. yeah. proper. You know, all of us. Mm-hmm. So, you know, but at the time, you know, hello, what do you think <laughs> of when you think of California? This one right here. Absolutely. R- right, you know, right, absolutely. Right. I actually, I wasn't really sad, you know. Of course, you know, when you don't get something, you're like, oh, but I wasn't sad, you know. Um, so for me, cut to, I think about, I don't know if it was a year. It wasn't that long. It was like six months mm-hmm. later, I get a call from Peter Engel, and I was doing Miss Saigon at the time, and um, 
I literally get a call saying, and this voice comes on, hi, Jenny, do you remember me? I'm Peter, and you auditioned for California Dreams. I was like, oh, hi. Do I remember? <laughs> and so he's like, do you want to come home and do a TV show? And I was like, oh, okay. And I basically hung up. And so <laughs> it was the strangest thing. Yeah, because... I think- like, network series like that yeah. that went yeah. well yeah it, it was very strange because it's like when when does that happen right you right. know right. and so i literally thought <laughs> i don't know what i thought i hung up on him because i thought is this a joke you, you know? wouldn't believe that's that's a lot of people that have come on the, the real show cast have actually said yeah. the same thing where yeah. like, similar experience this who's pranking me yeah. who, who's that's actually what I calling like. and, yeah yeah, well, so, that's how it used to happen back then. Right, People exactly. were far more absolutely generous that right. way. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Actually, picking yeah. up the, yes, the phone, the phone. Yeah, yeah. making the call. Yeah. yeah, you know, and I didn't know any. I got a phone call out of the blue. It was a bizarre experience, but um, yeah. So I was like, okay, and it was really weird because my first contract was um, going to be up for the show, which. I'm probably the shortest lived Kim, which they're probably not happy about. You know, theater and TV is a little bit rivalry. I, w- I wonder. I wonder, I wonder if he knew that. I wonder if he had, oh. if he had researched that. I really don't know. You know, and I don't think my agents had called me at the time. I literally had gotten that phone call. Huh. Um, so it was just so surprising, and um, yeah, and so. So then you go in. But he was really. He was. Re- he hired me just based on yeah, when we had gone to network. You didn't audition again. I you did not got, audition yeah, she again. Got the part. Mm-hmm. And he said, a lot is riding on me. And I was like, oh. Oh, no pressure. Thanks, Peter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I'm coming into this thing, you know, and they're already filming mm-hmm. the first episode, you know. First season. Yeah. yeah. I mean, sorry, first, yeah, first season. And Jenny, sorry. when mm-hmm. did your character come into the second, the second, second season. season. Okay. Top yes. of the second yeah. season. So they had already established Because we had the Heidi and mm-hmm. but the brother and sister yeah. relationship. Mm-hmm. And then Heidi, was she bailing out at that point? Correct. Okay. Yeah, well, so in comes the mm-hmm. yeah, so, foreign exchange student. So how was, how was your experience? Like when you actually, you know, because I know you guys had similar audition experiences. And then right. when you actually got the call right. and like the timeline mm-hmm. from booking it to going into production. Right. So kind of, it was, I remember it was in June, our... Our, our test and I do remember same account I looked around the room and thought this is very strange but okay <laughs> and I feel like we even said to each other yeah if one of us gets it it was clearly a look thing absolutely yeah. and um so anyway that day they kept us they kept those that were going to be in the cast and so I was kept I know I still I mm-hmm. still get emotional so it was me and oh, William lo- that's, mm-hmm. that's a beautiful it's, moment it was a, the moment y'all never forget and yeah. then Brent and Heidi and they walked in we were all in a room and we're kind of staring at each other and I know they, I'm like feeling mm-hmm, it for you mm-hmm. that's they exciting. walked in and said congratulations you're the new cast of California Aww. Dreams and the tears and the screaming and the <laughs> and we were I was underage so my mm-hmm. guardian was with me I mean how so, old are you uh, I, how old how was I yeah oh, you, <laughs> I was not, 17 not how old are you? Like, no, I'm not gonna I was 17 I was 17 and, and William was even younger than me. We were the babies. Yeah. And so we had our guardians with us. So they're crying. It was it was a very emotional one of those I, I, moments. I, 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 oh, it's you, beautiful. Yeah, it's nice yeah. to hear those. So, but then I knew, to put a little footnote on her story, I knew she and I were going to be friends forever when later that evening she called me to congratulate oh, me. Oh, that's sweet. So. That's, oh, really, that's yeah, so nice. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, well, I just made a friend for life. And I had no idea she was going to come around full circle and we would be like this. So, so when that happened, that was super cool for Yes, you. yes. I mean, for both of you, I guess. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I was, it was definitely happy. Yeah. And meant to be, 100%. Well, well, you started talking about the, the change in the cast. Because mm-hmm. right? the... It was pretty, it wasn't very self, it wasn't ex- explained in the show. It was, you're just, right. it was kind of yeah, just like, right. oh, someone went up, what is it, like college or yeah. moved uh, away? Yeah, moved to New York. Oh, Heidi went like somewhere, that. yeah. Because yeah. she was in the first, what, two episodes of the second season and then you yes. came in? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they must have wrote her off somehow. I think yeah. they sent her to boarding school or something. something like that. Yeah, and then in comes As the they foreign do. exchange yeah, student. Yeah, foreign exchange, yeah. yeah. You know. Boarding school, yeah. of course. Yeah, it was something like that or music school mm-hmm. or something, yeah. 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 So. Then, so then you came in as the foreign exchange student. Correct. Yes, at an American school. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I talk Valley. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> of course. That's hilarious. Um, yeah. So That's like, because the, the first season was really about the, the family. Garrison family, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. And then it came into really about the band, the band, and, and the fa- yeah, the friends. Everything. And that, and that's that's really where you felt like that's that's where the legs mm-hmm. were. That's where you got mm-hmm. the. Well, again, I know I told you guys this off camera and everything, but I have been having the most fun 
watch reliving Living my it. experiences <laughs> with with California Dreams. It really is such a fun show, and like the whole time I was watching it, I was watching it on my phone because it's just on YouTube. Oh at, yeah, at the moment yeah. I yeah. think right. Yeah, it's you can't coming, get it on DVD, and it's can. coming. Yeah. Uh, it's airing on a new um, network, I believe, this fall. Oh really? So, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh that's uh-huh. great. Actually, one of our other castmates, you know, sent me that information, so I, I'll have to look I love at that. But I was watching it on my phone in bed with like this, just a, like the little tiny. <laughs> Little smirk on my face. <laughs> That's right. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. So I want to thank you for that '90s nostalgia. Of course. So. That's, a, that's a nice. That's a nice little. Uh, the vision. Visual. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. And then just a little smirk. We have it on DVD. All mm. all six seasons, Fantastic. five seasons, and so my kids watch mm-hmm. it regularly. Oh, nice. So I have that I opportunity that. to all hear it in the room. I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go watch some episodes with them. So it's, oh, it's nice. pretty cute. And do, yeah. do they make you like? Do, perform no they, not me but these guys they do yeah. Yeah. Sly. Okay. Well, uncle sly yeah they yeah. Mm-hmm. oh uncle sly mm, they're his yeah that's, i love it oh, they that's love him cute. he's yeah. my favorite oh yeah so, so once it starts airing and everything how was how was the reaction to the fans and like were there any like crazy you know fan interactions you guys go internationally or anything like that we, yeah i mean we had the opportunity to travel international i think the boys got it more than the girls Absolutely. did yeah, well. um in fact i know they did oh, they, they were did. screaming <laughs> little girls everywhere that we went together um but yeah i do remember um the first time i was out and got recognized because i was again still only 17 maybe yeah. 18 at this point and i was like oh this is strange you know were you, were you by yourself i or? was i was yeah, by yeah. myself and but we did hang out a lot and my favorite memories of getting recognized is when there's like three or four of us so fans oh, yeah. will go <laughs> wait a second they're right all away. together right away it's yeah like, oh, oh they, yeah then yeah. they're like is this real yeah what's happening <laughs> Are we really at Sharkies right now? Yeah, totally. What's going on? See, yeah, yeah. Totally yeah. 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 <laughs> so, we need to do a pop up Sharkies. Who's going to do? Uh, yeah, well, I'm exactly. actually, I'm actually do going it. to the uh, the, the Saved by the Bell one. Yeah, uh, on Thursday. Uh, yeah, really. But we are you going Thursday? No, I was just thinking a friend of um, mine who he he's the one who brought us on to the Jimmy Fallon show oh, originally. Right. Yeah. He was like, I want you guys to I want you guys to have a pop up um, totally restaurant, and he's like, I'm going to talk to the creator of it because he's the one who brought us on to. We had to make the reservation six months in advance yeah, yeah. it's no, completely it's sold a out ticket. it's a good thing mm-hmm. yeah. absolutely mm-hmm. but going back to yes. how young you guys were mm-hmm. like were there any like really like first that you had experience on camera like the kissing or no, something sadly. like ran with the, it, I mean, no, it was a family show <laughs> and everything like that. for me it was it was i think on camera <gasps> yes Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Ooh, yes. I didn't know that. Yes. <laughs> it wasn't mine. I was, I was that kid. <laughs> She's well been around. In yeah, she was around. <laughs> and on camera, too. <laughs> Backstage and... I just yeah. think, right. you yeah. know, there's so many emotions and feelings oh. running around, as a, such as a teenager, you yeah. know, yeah. having to experience yeah. that. Well, yeah. Huh. You tell your story. Because, but I, my experiences came with the boys being older and being so crass mm-hmm. and in your face. Mm-hmm. I was like, why are they being so weird and gross? You know, I had to learn all of that really young but what so you really so did weird and gross yeah, it, was, it was we can be weird and gross it was it's gross true. especially Michael yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah and then I had a crush on Brent mad crush on Brent and he knows that to this day so yeah that was odd awkward well you know 17 <laughs> yeah he's yeah. pretty dreamy yeah he was yeah. he sang and played guitar oh that's I mean <laughs> And, recipe for disaster, and, and, he, and he's and he's a, he's a very good songwriter. Yes, I, I mentioned earlier, but he and I have the same music manager, yeah. and so mm-hmm. he. Uh, I I would venture to say, uh, almost um, well, some of the stuff almost Beatlesque, mm-hmm. and, and that might sound weird Mm-mm. if you You're haven't heard all this right. stuff. But but he's he's very talented. Yeah, very talented. Anyway, I sorry, agree. sorry, he's dreamy. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you can understand yeah. my crush. Yeah. I, I, I get okay. it. I get all right. it. Excellent. Okay, so so back to the the the, the story. Oh, we don't have to talk about that. <laughs> was, you, was your kiss with William? The yes. First? <gasps> I didn't know that. I don't think I just said anything because I didn't want anybody to think I was so novice what? at it. Because I was so like, oh gosh, okay, we have to do this. All right, is it gonna be awkward? Is it gonna be weird? But it, it ended up being okay. But I just felt like <gasps> afterwards I had to just take a minute and be like, okay, that's fine. It's all good. Oh, Ooh, I'm like blushing for you. I that's was because funny. I think I just. I, I, not that I blocked it out, but I was like, I don't want to seem like I don't know what I'm doing. Of you course. Know? I mean, we like practicing on your hands. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Did William know that? No, had... I didn't tell anybody. Oh my gosh. I think that's the first time I'm talking about that it. Yeah, so here's the real show. Yeah. That is yeah. so funny. Oh yeah. God. I love that. And I had this boyfriend who I was like, ugh. 
whatever. I don't want to have to talk about it, but I'm sure he was jealous. But I'm like, it's a TV it's show. A show. You're Get professional. Over it. Yeah, You're I'm not actor. that professional, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> if I I've seen your work. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a little bit nerve wracking at the time. But oh, that's so. Yeah. It's so awkward, teenagers. Yeah, and you know when the boys are like, ah, of hey, course. Hey, you know? So wait, wait, wait. Yeah. You 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 kissed him before you kissed your boyfriend? No, 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 no. It was just you know when you have a boyfriend yeah. who is okay. a jealous boyfriend. I'm like, get over. That's it. okay. But that happens all the time with, with actors. I mean, yes, right, it, yes, absolutely. Yeah. How do you deal with like what's the angle? You, you... break up with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably what happened, huh? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's one way, I guess. I'm kidding, kind of. But um, you know, I mean. We're young at the time, but I suppose now, it, you know, you would have to talk about the boundaries that right. you have in your relationship or not, you yeah. know, depending on who you're with, what they feel comfortable and with. Like, and the scene yeah. and, you know, right. the director and how respectful they. Right. And, yeah. classy. and, can, and can you CGI yeah. it? Can you just, can you just, <laughs> can you? Can you? just yeah. a fake? Yeah. <laughs> Put my head in there. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, just this is kind of off note, but I, I'm not going to say the name of the movie because I'm like, oh, no, I don't want people to find it. But I... I had to, I had, uh, now as I get nervous talking about it, had to, it was a little bit more racy. Right. And I was really, really, really nervous. Yeah. To the point where a couple of my friends came over to practice with me so I wouldn't be nervous in the scene. Practicing. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. But not her husband. No, her friends. Right. Her he friends, of he course. Just, no, I was like, I can't with you, I can't. And, and my husband's like really easygoing. Your going. husband is hilarious. <laughs> he doesn't care he about any of that so stuff. Hard. He yeah. doesn't care yeah. about it. He's mm -hmm. so open about that stuff yeah. but he was excited but literally I was so nervous and I had so much anxiety over it and but it, it ended up being fun and you know well, that's, that's don't good. let anybody that's yeah, good. don't let anybody you know I'm sure it could be nerve wracking but you know if you put yourself in and the I, right place you correct could. me if I'm wrong here but um, you know the people listening that want to know about some of those racy scenes yes. it becomes so mechanical sometimes is this like you, for, for, I've never mm -hmm. done like a uh, any sort of racy scene with mm -hmm. anybody in my mm -hmm. career off camera. Oh, I was like, oh, Wait, no. okay. you, you certainly <laughs> have practiced. Some, yeah. of the people, some of the people that have had to do some, you know, mm -hmm. and it's all network television thing. Mm -hmm. So it is, you know, has some sort of taste level. Mm -hmm. And it's, they said, and I was like, how was that? How? And they're like, mm -hmm. it was actually so mechanical mm -hmm. and so choreographed that it really kind of took away some, I don't know if you've had any of those kind of experiences where it was like, I mean, in this experience, um, again, because I was so, nervous about it um thank god the director was very very uh attentive to my needs mm -hmm. right oh, so he was like okay jenny do you, you know he made everybody leave the room who didn't need to be there that's good and um and it was technical to a certain degree you know but um it, you know of course it's like cut and you have this boom in your face <laughs> it's like oh you know so anyway i digress yeah, yeah. well I, I had a friend who actually did a uh, like a uh, Cinemax. Oh, like, Cinemax. Oh, yes. Yeah. And I went to set with. In fact, Torin. You know Torin. Mm -hmm. You are outing them. Do they? Torin. <laughs> Torin. 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 <clears throat> who, who later went on to become the the new lead singer of Fuel. Oh. If you okay. ever. Yeah. But but he's he's like he's like a, a rock star. He's uh -huh. now he's now actually a, a uh, almost done with school. He's going to be. A plastic surgeon, I think. Oh, Pat wow. What's his number? I know, right? <laughs> Torin. Torin. We got some fans here. So, um, do it, I, do went, it. I was on set with him, and I was, the, and I, I remember it was like this alley, and it was very super colorful, and then and then the rain comes on, and then I was just like, oh my, this is this, this is, is one of the greatest things ever, <laughs> right? And then it was like, okay, let's go again. Let's right. Go again. And they're right. walking around like these little things taped on you. Mm -hmm. it, 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 uh, I don't know. It was... Well, well, let's this, say I saw this, a lot of torn. This certainly has <laughs> taken a turn. From Sorry, the that, that was yeah, sure, that sure was, did. Sorry, Kel. Yeah, yeah. going back we went to downhill. California dreams. Let's, let's go, go back. back. Um, did you guys have any? See, <laughs> 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 I'll, I'll, I'll keep it up here. Okay. Uh, here no, uh, so do you? So you guys were all musicians. <laughs> do you guys have any say in some of the in the the music department? And were you guys? I know you guys were all singing. Yeah. At the time, they had specific songs that they wanted to put out. Mm -hmm. And for when I came on, you know, 
boys get a lot of airtime, right? So they would start to gear the songs mm -hmm. toward the demographic that they wanted to pull in. Interesting. Okay. Um, but we did have the chance to sing, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. here and there and more, you know, I think more in the beginning it was that yeah. we were singing more. I think once it's, it, it took a lot of extra time. So we would yeah. rap and mm -hmm. then go into the studio for four to five right. hours. It made for a very long day. Right. I can and I think they started to realize that and they pulled back and that's when they brought in the two actors that weren't vocalists mm -hmm. and the producers uh, in the music studio did their voices. Right. So yeah. I think I there think, was a yeah, lot more of that. Yeah, there was something that, that were, there's mm -hmm. two actors mm -hmm. that weren't actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that you can see in the show the shift where most of the songs became theirs. Yeah. Or the songs boys. that yeah. we had already done before. Right. Yeah. Redone. And you repeat right. songs in the show. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. think I, I think I would, was Barry. Yeah. Barry yeah. Mm -hmm. did, oh, Barry's voice. He actually, <gasps> interesting, inter interestingly enough, was it, he's on the board of the old company that I worked for. So my, bro my brother's the CEO there. But so so I, oh. I, I was like, oh, I tell him. Barry we say Please hello. Tell him hello. I, 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 I just, yes. I actually just connected with him on, he's on tell Facebook. Tell Barry hello. Yes, we love him. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can tell him too. He's on Facebook. Oh. It's oh. Facebook, See, is, on Facebook. Facebook is free. And I'm the only known person on oh, okay. the planet. <laughs> is it? I don't post very much. For now it is. For now it is. What we, I, I will absolutely. Please, I speak yeah. about him yeah. often. Actually, he was great. Yeah. yeah, him and Steve. Mm -hmm. It was him and Steve, and then who was the other guy that did the vocals for um, Zach? Zach. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I don't remember Zach. Barry Zach's was name. Jay's vocals. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're outing it. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Jay. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And, well, they were great vocals. They're great yeah, vocals. They yeah, they really. Well, and he was. Yeah, they did all that. Remember, in the Heights, the mm -hmm. Heights, the Heights. Right, yeah, right. back in the day. Right, Jamie. Uh, Jamie, yeah, he, he was, was on really, 90210, 90210, kind of brooding. Right. Anyway, like he, the, yeah. How do you talk to an angel? Yes. Yes. They, yes. they produced all that. That's his. Yep. Oh, yeah. Interesting. That's and I hear you guys got, you guys actually got a CD, right? We did. Of, of the, like the cast yeah. got CDs of we the We did. At the, the rap music. party, we got an anthology, which I don't have mine anymore. I have that. However, our first year, the first season, we did have a record with MCA. Right. So for me, signing for California Juniors was one thing, but then a then record the, deal? Then a record like, deal. Right. I was walking down the halls and I see like Olivia Newton John things, and I was like, it, it was overwhelming, overwhelming for me. And then you cried again. I cried again. I cry a lot. <laughs> well, hey, that's, well, this is, I that's mean, all about. I think it's a great segue to go into like the, like those aha, we call them like Oprah aha mm -hmm. moments of like when you actually get to see like this crazy success that you've had, mm -hmm. and that we've all just these moments have been like, I can't believe this is happening. Yeah, How did I get life? here? That was totally. Do you like? Is that was that one of them? Do you oh, have yeah. any others that like really stick out to you? I mean, I was blessed because after California Dreams, I worked for a good five years still. But it was um, that moment because I was so young was mm -hmm. a moment I'll never forget. And because it's still on, and because my kids watch it, and because I still have fans from the show, it gets. When we did Jimmy Fallon, that was just like a wow, that really did happen. And Jimmy Fallon watched it. You uh -huh, know, it was yeah. Like, yeah. It was the validation. Yeah. Yes, right? yes. Yeah. I love, I love looking back on those times. That's good. It's so. nice that you can have, look back on those times and smile and have a positive outlook. Absolutely. On yes. yeah. So because I know that some, sometimes yeah. that doesn't necessarily. No. Yeah. We happen. realize we're lucky that yeah. we can do that. <laughs> yeah. Do, do, do you? Yeah. Ha does a moment come to mind for you? You know, I think it's just generally speaking for me. You know, when pe it's funny, I. Kind of how you're saying off camera before we started, um, the effect that it has on people or how, you know, it has affected people's lives mm -hmm. from this, I don't want to say little show, but, um, you know, I, I didn't really take it seriously because when I would get fan mail or people would come up to me and say, you know, I never saw anybody like you on TV mm, and, wow. you know, it, that has really changed my life or your music and your singing has really touched my life and it helped me through some really tough times. And I still sing today because of what you have brought. And I, I'm kind of, I just sit there and it, it kind of hits me right. that, wow, you know, I'm not a, a brain surgeon, but yet this is affecting people's lives. Like, in a what, very what did I do to deserve exactly. this power? Mm -hmm. Right. right. This and I, I don't even think of it as power. I think of it as I'm able to, you know, make a change in someone's life for right. the better and that's all I want to do mm -hmm. with whatever I do Which but is if, I, if I can make it on a mass scale like that yeah then that's what makes it worth it and I don't think with every show that's the case mm -mm. right at all no, and I think we're talking about the, the, diver the diversity yeah. of the of the of the cast and right the well and I just want to say too I think it's the combination of people too yeah because 
you know, a lot of the times you come to shows and, you know, you could end up not wanting to have anything to do with them or it's a job. So, or, yes, just a job. That's you come, not, you clock in, you clock right, out. That's not what it that's has been for was. us. Mm-hmm. Obviously, we, you know, we're still close. and mm-hmm. But it, it's just we've been lucky. And for whatever reason, that chemistry, that um, energy that we brought together has, you know, still carried through to today. So that's something I feel really I don't think that happens about. very often. No, I agree. So. I agree, yeah. And, you know, to kind of be honest, our show was the black sheep of, of the series of Peter Engel shows. And when we were um, wrapping the show, our producer even said that. He's like, I know you guys have been the black sheep, but just please know that it's been, you know, wonderful. And we, we really... I, uh, to for me, I feel like we ended a little bit early, but yeah. they wanted mm-hmm. to end at the height of the success because they wanted to go into syndication, mm-hmm. and he had other shows that he was producing. Right. But I was like, don't waste your, waste your time on those shows. Just, yeah. yeah, do another just season of ours. Just, let's just keep going. <laughs> just keep going. Uh-huh. Well, thank you for going to the best segue ever and like uh-huh. <laughs> talking about like. When did you guys find out that this was going to be the final season? Mm. Was it something? I mean, you know, you did say. I mean, you did say that they wanted to go into syndication, mm-hmm. but when? When was that timeline? We knew pretty early on because they w- they had that in their mind that they needed mm-hmm. seventy five episodes mm-hmm. to make syndication, and mm-hmm. so we knew we were nearing that, and we feared that that would be it, and then yeah. it was. I think we knew the last season that was our last season, right? So we did thirteen episodes that season, okay. and with each one, we just knew it was getting closer and closer. That final episode was the saddest. Yeah. Day. I mean, anybody on set will tell you it was the saddest. I day. don't remember how it, how the show got <gasps> wrapped up. Well, story we all, story wise, there was real no. We just all went our own ways, right? It was yeah. our last game. It was called the last gig. Everybody went to boarding school. Yeah, we all went to boarding <laughs> school. Yeah. No, where I don't even know where was I going? I don't know. You were, I think, was I gonna, go, you were going to do oceanographer yes. or something, right? Yeah. Wait, well, remember. Remember. let's take me back. Yeah. Let's take no. me back. I remember that. Right? Yes, I was you going were. somewhere. Yes, Jay yeah. was going to go, or Jay. Oh, Jake Jay. was going to go and do his his music. Yes. You were going home? Were you going home? No, Tony and I were oh, going to go to college right. and we were going to still continue to date. Yeah. And yeah, you could um, have a spinoff. <laughs> I know. That would have been. Ne- been never too late. Yeah, yeah right. Where did Diana go? Who knows? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that, no, no one knows. No, that should that no, would no, have been her nobody line. Nobody no, literally, nobody knows. We cannot we know. find her really? anywhere. Yeah, she, Lorena, we cannot we find her. We can't find anywhere. her anywhere. I tried to find her. Mm hmm. Nowhere. Interesting. So that's a good, yeah. If you guys are if at you all know. into, yeah. yeah. Interesting. <laughs> keep, keep an eye out. But yeah, we we knew it was ending, and we yeah. were all very sad about um, it. But we were also it was a five year run for me. It was five years, and it was a good five years. Mm-hmm. That's so. solid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. and you guys still had this connection. You guys uh-huh. had these. So I knew that one. Congratulations yeah. on the success. And of there was a, the there's another co- special connection that you guys share as well. You guys both have. Uh, if 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 I heard the story correctly, yeah, you guys both have uh, um, there's a there's a Baywatch connection. Yeah, we're trying to get into the Baywatch section because That's her. Yes. yeah. So Kelly, yes. you so you went from California Dreams and into Baywatch. Yeah. She's our success yeah. story. Yes, yeah. really. she's our success yeah, baby. story. It was within like four or five months after mm-hmm. the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, the funny thing is, is. In the show California Dreams, I'm pretty sure <laughs> yes. what season. Uh oh. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do yeah. believe. Yeah. The guy that wore you, Babe Watch. Yeah. Babe Watch. Babe Watch. Yeah. <laughs> when the boys wore the sharks and yeah. they were like. You're right. And then you were cast in the show. Yes. And, and you Tony had to jealous. teach everybody how to. That is Cowabunga. Him. Cowabunga. Yeah. <clears throat> oh so my they, gosh. So. Just want to bridge the Baywatch. <laughs> they connection. must have seen her. Yeah. They must have seen well, no, her and I, was like, yeah. she is perfect. No, for actually, this. I they when Nicole Egger left too. Baywatch, they reached out to me, but I was still in That's contract. Right. I couldn't do it because we were mm. always compared to each other from the time she was on. Yeah, Charles in but look at her now. And yeah, I'm baby. Sorry. So anyway, <laughs> so when she left, they had reached out, and I had done three guest spots prior on Baywatch prior to my series regular. Yeah. So they knew of me. So when the time came to audition, she went with me to the audition. Oh, nice. And I Fred left. Life. Yeah, I left because everybody in there looked like Pamela Anderson and I clearly do not. Wait. Do you remember this? <laughs> yes, because 
because me and Chrissy went with you. Yes, yes. And Kelly was just wearing like this cute summer dress, uh -huh. right? Like it was the 90s still. It was, yeah. and it's coming back now, but it's the sp spaghetti straps with like a t-shirt underneath. And it's oh, like, yeah, did it have like the banana clip in the back? The it, little yeah. <laughs> but everybody thing. else. There was, a, there was a lot of, there was a lot of those in California <laughs> yes, Dreams. Yeah, yeah. But Which, everybody else. <clears throat> sure. Had the extensions yeah. and like full beat and yeah. this and that out. And we were like, so I walked in and walked like, right out. And I'm like, I've done that you before. better stay here. Yeah. Just so stay. she we like, came stay. and gave me the pep talk and said, get your butt back in there. You better you stay. don't know what they're looking for. Right. So I went back in all disgruntled. But luckily <laughs> I did because I was the only one there for my part. Mm -hmm. well, so you know, I went in because of her. No. Yeah. <laughs> we went in because we were not leaving. Yeah. yeah. That's no. awesome. Yeah. True story. Yeah. Well, I would take you in all my auditions though. Right? <laughs> I used to do that we because did. we did. Yeah. It, now it's harder mm -hmm. because all the well, clearance of course. Anymore, but yeah, <laughs> that's not true. She's done. <laughs> we will talk about that. But excellent. Yeah. For me, it's like it's so helpful because I have the worst stage fright, yeah. you know, and even for auditions and stuff. But it just makes it so much better. Having having so, having a pal. I have I have a yeah. ritual where I call one of my best friends and you I have and, to. Yeah. and yeah. you know. And I was like, I'm calling you because because the one time that I did this, I ended up booking the job. Oh, right. So see? so now yeah. it's just become a kind of a ritual. Yeah, so no, I call all the time true. and it's just, just puts you at ease Absolutely. and it's just kind of like mm -hmm. puts things in perspective. So right. I love well, that you guys have that. I probably wouldn't have gotten the show if she wasn't with me. So there you go. Spe she speaking of auditions, really quick before we we keep Move moving on. moving forward. Um, do you have any... My stomach is rumbling. I so apologize. You're relaxed. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm super relaxed. Um, do you guys have any tips or tricks for people if they're trying to learn like a lot of dialogue? Mm. Like is it... What, what, what do you guys do? Is there... Anything that, that oh, you well, use to Yeah, prepare. there's different going techniques, at, but... And Jenny, you actually are, are coaching. Are you coaching... I am. Um, ...actors and I do, or you know, vocals? primarily I do vocals okay. um, and voiceover, but I do have some people who... Mm -hmm. I don't really advertise that I do acting because I know there's so many people, you know, in LA who do, but if people come to me and they say, hey, can you help me do this? Absolutely. Great. I would, but yeah, definitely. But I remember we were taking... Um, Kelly has her coach who mm -hmm. has really great ways of memorizing because for me it's interesting I think I have scars from this one show that I did where it was a one-person show and I had to memorize mm -hmm. so many things that now after that my memory is shot I'm like oh like, like, really? yeah. used, up, used up all of your I used all my funny. brain space and it was so hardcore that and, and and the director who I love but he's so meticulous he wanted every if and and but to be if and, and, and right. but yeah, that's, because that was he wrote it right. right. It was tough and it was a lot. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know now. Kelly, um, do you have any? Like, well, because and I'm kind of the opposite. I just I good. give credit to being able to probably look at that and and turn it around and know it really? because Ugh. I've been doing it since so I was eight jealous. years old. Yeah. She's so so I, I know just, my memory is there. However, through my coach, I learned the easiest way is to do it by just literally learning it without any punctuation mm -hmm. by rote, they call like it. That. And it makes it easier because then you're not putting your stamp on it. You're just re remembering it, remembering it. And then when you put your stamp on it, it all comes back to you, like the words, the, mm -hmm. the connotation, and then you can make it yours. I've always had the hardest time. It is hard. I'm not, I'm not going to beat around the bush it's very hard especially like with, with some of the smaller scenes mm -hmm. absolutely for me, where mm -hmm. it's just like you only have two lines and those are the hardest those are the hardest ones I'm like the hardest and I yeah. always like yeah. jump I'm like no, I I'm, I'm, I'm not yeah. reacting to anything yeah. I'm just so selfish as an actor in that situation yeah. well I also record myself and the other lines so I don't record mm -hmm. myself I'm sorry I record the other lines uh, so that I have a scene partner so you're pretty good to, yes. to work with and the iPhone has really changed the game yep yeah. because yeah. Marianne's had that little recorder yeah, yeah. I used to say yeah this is a true line yeah, mm -hmm. I still have one of those. Because she told me about that, and that's yeah. when I got it. Yeah, yeah. Little, zzz, okay. yeah. that's yeah. that's yeah. really smart, actually. Yeah, but so in the car, I'll, if yeah. I'm going to the audition, I can just play the other parts. <clears throat> pause my part. Pause my oh, part. You know. Right. So yeah, I do that. Oh, I like but, that. Ooh, yeah. stealing that <laughs> and <laughs> Steals my locking it away up here. Yeah. Locking away. So up here. California Dreams comes to an end, and then you are heading to Baywatch. And what was like your your next? But, you know, so well, you were fortunate to go right into another I five did. year. No, it was two years. Two years. Two years. Oh, yeah. two years. Yeah, but then I did. I went into hosting after that. I was lucky because the business was shifting at that time. Mm -hmm. If you remember, everybody was doing reality television. I was like, what do I do? Mm -hmm. And luckily, I just I parlayed and, into that easily. Yeah, and so I just want to go into what was that transition like? Because it sounds like, correct me if I'm wrong, but with California Dreams, it was such a family. Mm -hmm. and you guys all kind of mm -hmm. started in the very, very beginning, even though yeah. you weren't into second season. Mm -hmm. You guys already still had a relationship. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was Going into something that was already... Very established. St mm -hmm. uh, yeah, established. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest, mm -hmm. still one of the biggest, 
biggest yeah. shows yeah. on the planet. Yeah, yeah, right. it was different. How was that transition? <laughs> yeah, it was tough. I was lucky um, because I had been on the show before, so I knew some of the key characters, and they were very good to me. But oh my goodness, some of the others were not so nice. <laughs> and yeah. I had to learn, because I was still Tiffany Smith, and everything was happy. And I had to learn just how catty girls can be. And when you're in a swimsuit like that all day long, and I just wanted to be at craft service. Yeah, and, mm, you know, it was, oh, and others couldn't do that. It was, yeah, it was rough. And I missed and longed for the days back with these guys. But having said that, I was working on the beach where I would have been anyway if I wasn't working. So I ha- I knew and recognized that I had a mm-hmm. great job. And Absolutely. so during breaks, I would take the jet ski out or the paddle boat or whatever. Oh, like, perk. Where else working could you do hard. that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> working hard. Yeah. And I had already, I'd been married. I got married that summer before I started. So I already kind of had a, a support that, yeah, that some good. of the others didn't have, but yeah, it was there was a lot of fun. I ha- I could tell stories for days about that show. So you so. probably you probably brought a, a bit of like an anchor. Um, to, to, I, mean, it, it, I did in the sense that when my first year there were I think twelve cast members, and then the next year they called it the Baywatch Bloodbath. I was the only one that made the cut. <laughs> oh, congratulations! And, um, they got rid of everybody else, so I was an anchor in that sense. So like second season for me, I was like, I got you guys. I'm like an old pro here, even though I wasn't. So yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, that first year was rough. And, and then and then you went into to hosting. You yeah, said? so after I, I jumped ship when Baywatch went to Hawaii, I felt like it You jumped Hass- the shark? I did. I jumped the shark. <laughs> I, yeah. I felt that if Hasselhoff was leaving, that the show was going to be on its last leg, I should probably get out here. I was wrong. It went on three more years after that. Um, but anyway, so I was like, okay, now what? I was ready to work, but with Baywatch and California Dreams on your resume, you weren't taken very seriously as an actress. Mm. So luckily, that's when everything went into hosting. And so I, I got Ripley's, believe it or not, that same year. That's right. Awesome. Yeah. And it was very, that was, uh, it was great. It's yeah. It's I all coming, like right? The files yeah. are just like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Opening up. Opening up. Yeah. And that was fun because I had Superman, Dean Cain, come out and tell me that I was going to join the family. So that was another one of those moments oh, of like, exactly. oh, all coming that was back. cool. Yeah. That is so awesome. So I did that for two years and then I got knocked up my second year on that and I've had <laughs> babies ever since and fantastic but no i was lucky i was very very lucky so excellent jenny where did you go after uh the california dreams so, because i know some things that you might do <laughs> you might have to remind <laughs> me you remember well, you went you started going back into your roots which was theater mm-hmm. yeah you know i mean it was interesting it was um my my vision or my naive way of thinking i'm like okay I'm going to use this as a launch. Yeah, it doesn't go that way, you know. Um, but I did have some really nice guest spots after that, right? And then I auditioned for... What, um, what, just can you name a couple? I don't even remember. Uh, the Nanny. Yeah. The right? Nanny, <gasps> Family Matters. Oh, yeah. um, I think I did... Didn't you do a 90210? I did. That was yeah. a, before that, oh, before. though. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think I got a small part on some movies and all that kind now, of stuff. Now, were, they, were these shows that you had watched? Um, no. No, <laughs> no. I was just thinking, like, how cool that would be. Like, like you're, mm-hmm. you're watching the, and and that, like, oh my god. No, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. you know, I knew a Fran Drescher, you know, and it was right. interesting. I I never had watched the show, but something that I really learned on that show, she was first of all gorgeous, with yeah, no makeup. I was just like, wow. I you know because I just know her of that voice, but also too, um, she's a very smart businesswoman, mm-hmm. yeah. and I really just sat and watched her, and I was really. I admired that, you know, um, and the director was Dorothy Lyman from Mama's Family, which I was like, oh, my gosh, I know her, <laughs> Mama's you family. know, Mama's <laughs> Family, yeah, and, but the, fu- the funny thing about that show was um, I was, you know, I was uh, Fran's adopted daughter, Okay. but when they were doing my costumes, <laughs> my skirts are like shorter, no, shorter, shorter, I was like, I'm not going to be able to sit down <laughs> after and I had to do another kissing scene in that too and I think I remember the character he was younger than me and, and I was like uh oh and my husband's like jail bait I'm like shut up <laughs> of course you <laughs> this is really uncomfortable I didn't think about that we are on a set it's fine right you know it's fine I'm not gonna cradle roll maybe you were their first kiss Oh, oh, I don't oh know, maybe. not not at that time. Mm. I think things got pretty. Scary. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> moving on. So it, so yeah, so that was that, and then um, I had done um, the one person show I I told you guys about that. 
Yeah, and then after that, I did a show which I love, which is called Bear, which was created. Yes, yeah. Bear. And it, for those that you don't know, Bear was like a cult classic in, in New York City. Right. It never got fully mainstream, right, but everybody right. in the theater community, because I did, I went into theater after our right. group was over. So, right. Um, it Bear. I remember seeing it. And right. I remember just being like, this is like the best right. thing ever. Right, and the music they never, was gorgeous. The music was gorgeous. Sorry, I'm, now I'm no, just you, excited Eric, about no, it. No, go for it. And it, it was touching on subject matter that I don't think that was right. really mm -hmm. discussed. I mean, we just had Rent at the time. So yeah. I kind of somewhat compared it to the modern day Rent at the time. Hmm. But originally when I went in for the show, I auditioned for the main part. But they had someone else in mind. So they created a part for me to be in the show. Oh, wow. So now in all the renditions, and I've seen it once, I just got chills. Now when I see it, I see the character, I'm like, they created that character for me so that's I could awesome, be in the yeah. show. And that's, that's cool. another thing that I think that theater um, caters to is when you're starting a, a brand new project, you're mm -hmm. like, I'm the first one mm -hmm. to touch this, mm -hmm. and that's a really special feeling. Yeah. yeah. So, so Bear was so fantastic. Yeah. Did, you, it, did, you, did you, you went into Avenue Q, did you? I did Avenue Q, yes. So I auditioned for Avenue Q, and I actually did the, um, they tried to bring Broadway to Vegas. <laughs> and this was after the whole Tony scandal. Yes. Was it not? I mm -hmm. want to say yes. perhaps. Because there was, I don't they, know. so Avenue Q, beat, one that beat the Tony. Right. <laughs> Sorry, musical leader group, uh, over Wicked. Right. Because they were going to tour it and then they didn't end up touring it and they just did a, a stay in Vegas. Well, they, uh, yeah. Something that, like that. Yeah. Something, it was something like, like that. that. Well, um, yeah, so I did that, and Vegas audiences, I don't think we're ready for that no. because it's a super clever show. It's comedy, but with you know, puppets, with puppetry. puppets, you have to you know stick with it to kind of get the story right. right? Um, because the storyline is is beautiful, you know, it's just crass and you know crazy and funny. But um, so the Vegas audiences, when they would come, it's not Broadway. It's not you know drunk. Th they're and not able that. to they're give not it able to, the time right, to right, right. But then after I, I joined the tour too, when they created the tour, yeah. they they brought me on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, success. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, you guys are so talented and wonderful. I oh, want you to have all the success. Oh, all thanks. the success. All the success. <laughs> all of it. All Take of it. it all. Now, our hands are up here. Yes. Let's just put them here. <laughs> here. Oh, wow. Because it's, it's time. time for uh -oh. seven questions, seven questions, uh -oh. seven questions to show who wins. Uh -oh. Yes. Uh -oh. Welcome to the trivia part of our segment of the real Whoa. show. Here I go. love it. I love it. Are we ready? All right. So is it between she and I? Yes. Oh, the two of you oh, boy. I'm are competing. Tell them what they're playing for, Eric. <laughs> You guys are playing for a vintage No Authority t-shirt oh, yes. that my mother found in her attic not too long ago. Oh, yes. It, so, ha it has four squares. Four squares, so just I, for I forget which, which square is which. I'm down here. I think you're down. Never mind. Let's oh, keep going. Somewhere. Yes. Okay. <laughs> anyway. yeah. Anyways. Anyways, so a little trivia competition. Okay. Oh, okay. Memory. Memory. Have a good memory. Tommy, you want to start? Should I start? Um... <laughs> I'll start. I don't go, mind. go ahead. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. What was the number one song in America the day California Dreams debuted? <laughs> se September 12th, 1992. Oh. And, and I've got to say, we, we, Eric actually researched, there, were, there will be two musical questions. Okay. Uh oh. I actually got both of them right. Oh. No pressure. Okay. So no pressure. 92. Got it. 92. But I will, al will also I say, give us I will also say yes. this is tough. Okay. These are I don't like, know this it. is tough. It was a group. Okay. Oh, great. Okay. Thanks. Okay. A group? I'm supposed to just say what it was? Color me bad. Nope. Oh, we Close. don't get a choice? Close. Ah! Close. Close. Um, there is a... Oh, is it all for one? There is a... There is a Close. Oh. There is a number oh. in the name. Oh, oh, 98 degrees. Oh. No, no, no. no. You, you, you were closer. Uh, I was? You were closer. Uh -huh. For one. Think along the... Think along that road. There, it was, but there's a number, so there, it's not there, color me it, bad. It was, you know, it was a group of boys. Boys to men. Yes. What Excellent. song? What song? Wait, the, the, that the, song the, the, that William put no, in no, no, thing? No, no, no. The premiere of the premiere of California Dreams. The, yes. Yeah, yes. Ninety two. Ninety two. End of the road. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> one Which point William? for Jenny. Well, I, I said the artist. <laughs> and at one point, <laughs> you guys, <for> Kelly, <laughs> you guys both get a point. We get a tie. Okay. okay. All right. They're, okay. they're just going to team up on every one. Watch. I know, I know. That's, okay. that's, 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 that's how they okay. roll. Okay. Well, listen, I think that might be okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So name the song from which these lyrics appear. Oh, I'm good at this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little bit different. Does his thing in his own way. Oh. And when he finally speaks to song. you, 
He's really got something He's to say. He's a little bit different. Does his thing <laughs> in his own way. When he finally... I'm singing the entire song, Benny. What's it called? I don't know. He's doing it. There's something to say. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mama said. <Yes. laughs> okay. I think I, I, think I blocked it out because I was like, oh. It's like when the first song. It was like, push it up. Yes, it was. It was Mama the first song. Said, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. I was That's listening hysterical. to that and it was in my head. Oh, I was like, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Was it uh, not coming? I, my voice was it, wrong, too. It, it, oh, it, actually, it, actually, it, it's I like it was right on. I think that was right on. Little flickers. On the tip. Little right. flickers. It was like right yeah. there. Yeah, great. Wow. Yes. Good memory. I was memory. Really excited about that one. Good, that good memory. Good yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, so so point. Oh, thank you. Point. Thanks. For point. Uh, I should get two points because I say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> two My song that she remembered that I was like, Ooh. I love that. By the, did, did we tell, so, so. The winner, it just gets oh, because usually well, it's maybe th- right, right, right. Maybe this is what maybe let's, let's change. This we is we're, this. We're, we're going off script here. Maybe because you guys are doing so well, we'll give two shirts. What? But the winner gets the signature. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, You're already defeated. No, no, I'm back. taking a drink. <laughs> <laughs> but if they're signed, then you can't like donate them. Yes, well, if there's well, don't personalize it, and I can put it on eBay, right? But, but, <laughs> <laughs> Mine was for nine ninety nine. What is your guys' oh, going for? Oh, enjoy the ninety nine. Okay, okay. Uh, ninety nine cents. Just, just, just shipping and handling, really. <laughs> That's right. Um, okay, this one, this one is. I think you guys probably will both know it based on the conversation we were having earlier. Okay. How many episodes of California Dreams aired on TV? Seventy five. No. How many would there have been? We only did 75. I thought there was more than that. 78. You're right. 78. You're Nailed right. it. Nailed you're it. Right. That was, that was an right. assist. That was, a, that was yeah. an that was, assist. That was an yeah. assist. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got it. Point, point. Yeah. Point, okay. point. Oh. Okay. All right. Which character of California Dreams often refers to herself in the third person by her full name whenever she's faced with Lorena, some Lorena, sort of challenge? Lorena Marina Costa. Lorena Marina Costa. Point, Lorena point. Marie. Wow, you guys, Diana, you guys are doing great. Where are you now? <laughs> Where, are you, Where are you, Diana? Where are you? Diana. Okay. Find find her. her. We need a hashtag. Yeah. Hashtag that. Find, find Lorena. Find Lorena. Find Lorena. Um, hashtag find Lorena. I want to do the next one. You do? Okay. okay. Okay, do it. We have 10 seconds on the clock. Oh, boy. There's no, the, there, there's no... He's clock. making you look at uh, the, the sky. <laughs> name for us, in 10 seconds, <clears throat> three songs that have the name... or the Sorry, three songs that have the word California in them. California Dreamin'. Um, uh, our songs? California no. Dreamin'. Okay. Uh, Hotel California. Hotel California. Um, uh, um, California from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yes. California oh. Yes. That's, that's, that's it. Yeah. Oh, is right that the on song? the buzzer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right on okay. the buzzer. That is a full two points each. I was about to start. Okay. All right. So you guys are just rolling right You guys are are doing very well. Thank you. Um, Let's see here. <laughs> this is going to be too easy. Nuh-uh. This is so easy. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh, what show? Really? Yeah, it's good. Do you want me to say it? Uh, no, I'll <laughs> okay, say go, it. Go, okay. go, go, what go show ahead. was canceled after its first season on NBC, but survived through syndication and later became one of the most watched television shows in the world? Whoa. Baywatch. Whoa. Nailed it. I Nailed it. See. Yeah. Yeah, it was exactly. canceled at first. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. And NBC kicks them to themselves to this yeah. day. Oh, that's right. I yeah. remember But it was that the now. greatest thing that happened to the show. And you'll notice season one and season two, the wardrobe changes. Season two, there was thongs and all mm-hmm. kinds of stuff that you couldn't oh, put on NBC. Oh. Yeah, true. Because true it, it went to... It went to it went straight to uh, it went to channel thirteen right, here, right. which was independent at K- the time. KCOP, yeah, yeah, Is that right? yeah, uh, or KCAL. No, it was KCOP. No, I think it was thirteen. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, that was thirteen. Yeah, okay. So nice, you guys. Well, you are it. kicking major booty. Yes, you are. Thank okay. you. Yes, good. you are. Good, 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 good. All right, now bookends. What was the number one song in America? Oh my gosh! The day California Dreams series finale oh. aired. <clears throat> Was that December 14th, 1996. Oh, that's, 96. That's what the records Dang, say. That was after I got married. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, good. It was after. Oh, you we know. have to guess. We don't give multiple oh, choice. Wait, wait, okay, yeah, 96. that's tough. I know. You just guess it. Everybody hates it. But if you it. don't get it. Okay, 96. Think, think. Well, speaking of weddings. Married. Okay. Speaking of weddings. Was it Vanessa it's, Williams it's, or something? It's, it's, no. It's, it's, 
It's we'll give still, you a it's not, still not a ballad. It's still played. It's not, not a ballad. Not a ballad. Not a ballad. Not a ballad. Believe it or not. It's still played at weddings to this day. Oh, Celebration? Celebration? No, that would have been way before that. 1996. Um, it's not from this moment, because that's a ballad. No. It's still um, the one. No, there is a dance no. to it. Oh. Oh, Macarena? I get the signature. Now you get extra bonus points if you oh. actually know the words know the to lyrics. Macarena. Yeah. It's funny when we, we're, we're putting this together, and, and my wife was there, and and she starts, she just starts singing it. She's like, well, she grew up she in, she, the she grew up in, T, in Tijuana. Oh. She, she's Mexican. So oh. she, 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 she's yeah. like, there, they, there actually, there are words. There, there are because oh. we're like, what are you guys doing? She's like, don't mock us <laughs> but but here's a cute thing that i was able to kind of turn around at her so when she was growing up she didn't speak english mm. right so her friends they, when they would they would they would speak english mm-hmm. they would have conversations and they go wishy washy wishy 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 oh, so gosh. english sounds like it. sounds like wishy washy wishy washy wishy <laughs> apparently that's how english to, sounds yes <laughs> We should, we should, we should your wife. That is very funny. <laughs> uh, that hilarious. is funny. Well, you guys nailed seven questions. Absolutely. Thanks. Excellent. Thank Excellent work. We have Thanks. two vintage No Authority t-shirts so for you coming your way. Love it. All you have to do is pay fourteen ninety. Cash on the house. COD. Joking. Allow Excellent. four to six weeks for Thanks. shipping. Four to six shipping okay. and handling. <laughs> um, so it, what is happening in your lives right now, in the moment, future projects, anything that you want to promote, you want to talk about your children and your husbands, go for it. Things that you just want well, to brag about. What time is it? I have to pick up kids at 2.35, <laughs> and 5.30. And today's Monday, so we don't have a whole lot today, but the rest of the week between volleyball, bas- baseball, uh, dance. And so now you're your I have main four role. children. You have yeah. Four children. I have four children, um, aging from fourteen down to five. Six. You just turned six. Um, three girls and one boy. That is a full time yep. job. Wow. Um, I've been married twenty two years. Congratulations. Um, thank you. Thank you. Um, my husband is does has a real job. He's a doctor, so he <laughs> <laughs> he takes care of us. And um, we live out in Santa Clarita on a ranch. I have eighteen animals. Oh wow! Um, really? Yeah. Which, how many? Real. Like I mean, not how many. Obviously. Yeah. What, what, kind, what kind how many? Of kind? Well, most of those are chickens. I have seven chickens. Well, six hens and a rooster. But then I have um, two full-size horses. I have a miniature horse, a miniature donkey, two pigs, two dogs, two cats. Awesome. So, yeah. Do you have, like, just eggs coming out of your You know, keister? lately, no, because rodents have been getting the eggs. And I let one of my hens sit on, like, nine eggs, so we've got babies popping up now. Ah. Um, yeah, so. I know, little chicks. I know, little chicks. When you, when you sit on them. Yeah, chick, 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 chick. Chick. It's, oh, you, do, you do need a rooster, and he's around. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's my life in a nutshell: is running kids around and um, being so mom. Is it, so, you, so it's like it's like a you got a farm. I do almost. have a farm. You have a farm. Yeah. You just need a, you need a cow. You know, yeah, a I, big trust Holstein me, I cow. Would, I would take. One I had tomorrow. a pet cow, and he, and he was his name was Clarence. He was awesome. <gasps> I Clarence the cow. So that's bad. Good, that's yeah. good cow. My name. husband keeps me in check. They're super sweet. He does. Yeah. Cows are. He does. I know. He does. I know. But I'm you did do sweet. two movies. Well, yeah. So, and as Mo- far as the industry movies. goes, movies. Um, <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> I've been very lucky to be able to still work here and there, but I've done three lifetime films, so that should tell you where my career is at. But the last one was really fun. Uh-huh. And um, I, it, I got to beat people with shovels and bats and what? stuff. So that was fun. What, what was yeah. this? It was Family Vanished. It still airs every two weeks they re-air it so it's on LMN and that's really fun and then um I did a student film which I got to play a stripper which was awesome oh my gosh it was awesome the best. yes it really was that's why I did it because I want to do things that I haven't done you know as an actress and S- I, student I, films are a great way to do that for those that don't know it was a good one yeah and um called Serena so check that one out but I I know I want to work and I didn't really know that for sure until I did this last Lifetime movie and I was like yeah this is fun still there it's still there yeah. so I'm I feel that now that I'm believed as a mom because for a long time people weren't buying it even though I had four children and, and over 40 um, I feel like now I, I may actually work some more and the time excellent will come. that is so, I'll make a call I hope thank so thank you I got this thank you I'll make a call thanks I have no power he'll make a call I'll make a call to yeah. his mom <laughs> Yeah, yes, hey, to my mom. Anybody that can yes, help. No problem, got it. <laughs> well, good luck with that. And Thank if, you. Again, anything that we can do, we'll Thank promote. You. And Thank and to anybody who's listening, 
support. And do you, do you do any social media at all? Uh, so I yes. have an Instagram page. Okay. And I just reached 3,000 followers this morning. Thanks to Jenny. Congratulations. Whoop, whoop. Another alley oop. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all I've got. I don't do Facebook. I'm so bad at that because I just don't have time. But and I what's do. What's the handle? Uh, Kelly Packard official. I had to give myself an official because I couldn't get the blue check. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> so, so no, I don't know. Official. I don't know. Kelly but Packard but no underscore. No, no underscore. Just, just Kelly Packard together. official. Yeah. All together. Excellent. Yeah. And then we. So funny enough, we're trying to get the band back together. Yes. Okay. And maybe you guys can help this because right. we went and saw. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh-oh. Disclaimer. Yeah. Okay, disclaimer, okay, fine. Okay. We went to go see a very... We can't say their name? No, let's just not. Oh, fine. Let, we went to uh, saw... Just, okay, let's just say we went to go see a very, very popular um, girl group. From the 90s. From the 90s. And we went with some girlfriends. Right. And we're leaning Wait, to when, each other. When did you go? This was just like Last six months ago. Yeah. yeah. And mm-hmm. we're... Okay. No, like, yeah. literally, the whole time I'm like, what the... Yeah, it was so bad that we looked at each other and she goes, "How come we can't do this?" I said, "We can." Yeah, yeah, and we can produce it. Yeah, so that sparked our idea. And interestingly enough, um, I just mentioned it to one of my students who that's how she knew of me because she came to me because she was like, "I want to take lessons from that girl from California Dreams." But anyway. That generation, I, I just kind of have been toying with the idea of saying, "Hey, we might try and make this." Oh, the my reaction God, is we huge. Will be yeah, back. yeah. We will be yeah. Back, well, I gotta. You know? I mean, I said this earlier. It's we'll just come. been like, as a fan of the show, it's been so wonderful for me just to relive some of these things. So mm-hmm. I one hundred percent would be there. Would you come? And would be there. Okay. And bring we, we would come. We, we would do that. We would. Uh, we would help you write songs. We would oh, help, like, like whatever you need. Fun. Whatever yeah. you need. Yeah. Absolutely. So 100%. that's what we're trying. That's, we're trying to reach. We're some trying of the, to do yeah, that. It, the crew to get back together. Yeah, it's been a little bit challenging, but I think, you know, n- not only just for the nostalgia, but I think it it would just bring some really great energy. Mm-hmm. And you mm-hmm. never know what's going to happen. It's not like we're trying to yeah, we're make not, miracles yeah, happen yeah. here. Right. But you really never know because right now comebacks are very yeah, very true. popular. True. And why so not? And why also not? why not? Yeah, and why that's not? what we said. Why not? We just, we'd have fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'd for have fun. fun mm-hmm. For the fun, for the for the for the the fans that that. Mm-hmm. Would I mean, love it. seriously, yes. you know? I've just been getting feedback on "Please do it." Yeah. You know, and um, also the, hearing about the relationship and you know, and the camaraderie mm-hmm. that you guys already had. Yep. They yes, want, they yeah. want to Support. be there for that. Yay. Yeah, and um, I mean, I already have all the musicians lined up. They're like, we're down. We're gonna awesome. do it. You know, and. It's just. I'll keep poking Brittany. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do my part there too. Maybe what should happen is that we should um, open up Sharkies. Okay. Yes, the pop up. The pop up Sharkies. <gasps> totally do a concert. And then like you guys I do just, a yes. concert just, at Sharkies. Oh my gosh, it's genius. I just, got I just want we'll 15%. Con- okay. Uh, uh, I'm well, just kidding. I'm joking. Like, that's a I'm bit joking. Steep. Well, we gotta sell tickets. We gotta sell tickets. I'll just. He is making the phone call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recoup. I mean, I'm just just putting it out there. Yeah. I mean, if you did reach out to you guys, I do that. That would be I really think that's great. A good idea. That's a mm-hmm. really great okay. idea. All right, I like that. Yeah, because yes. I was just Noted. thinking different Noted. venues, you know. But that's an even mm-hmm. better idea. Absolutely, yes. that would be perfect. Yes, absolutely. Perfect. I love um, it. Yeah, and it could be like once a week. <laughs> yeah. Okay, every night. <laughs> and then we do it every day. <laughs> totally. <laughs> we'll open in Vegas. Perfect. <laughs> You're gonna tour it. I mean, I it's, think it's, I yeah. think there's something there. That would I be do fun too. To tour. Pick up okay. kids, drop off kids, do show. Yeah. Pick up kids, drop off kids. Listen, the kids, the kids would want to come on tour because we would just have a blast. That's true. Oh yeah! We really oh my gosh! Tour, my li- kids. tour life. The is, kids. Is listen, a lot of fun. her kids have been on a plane since three months old. We've mm-hmm. traveled back and forth from New York with the dog, with the luggage when we could bring ten <laughs> luggages, you know, <laughs> on the plane. And like the kids are great. The yeah. kids are great. Well traveled. Yeah. Well traveled. Yeah. Exactly. It's Excellent. amazing, actually. And that's Jenny. Aunt Jenny. Also. Aunt Jenny. Our nanny. <laughs> so yeah, Aunt Jenny. <laughs> Future projects coming up that you want to promote and let's and see give what's some going on. Outs. What's funny is, thank goodness, thank God, you know, I've been doing a lot more with my voiceover work. Um, so that I'm so happy about that. Um, it's funny though because I am not allowed to speak about them until they come out because a lot ah. of them are projects for games and um, mm-hmm. and I just did a new cartoon. Um, but, the, but, but the stuff that the, but, well, the stuff that that is out. How about that? The, the voiceover stuff that is out. And also, if it, if we're going to let you know when this is going to be aired, and oh, if cool. any of those air out, we can put on the screen. Oh, okay, great, what great. It is, yeah, it's so too. I mean, I, it's funny because I don't think people believe me, you know, when I say those <laughs> things, you know. But it's funny when people say, "Oh, oh, are you still acting?" I just don't think anybody has a clue of what we do behind. Mm-hmm. It, it's not right. only about be, our faces, you yeah, know, yes. on camera. It's a business. It's a business, and the business has changed 
so much. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. now, you know, before when you had to have talent to back it up, now it's just a personality. So mm-hmm. it's, it's just so different. With a huge Instagram following. With a yes. huge Instagram. So basically. Yeah. Of real followers. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. So, um, yes, yeah, so I've been doing a lot of voiceover work. Um, I still have my coaching business, which I'm grateful for because I started it, man, almost, uh, let's see, 1990. Nine. So next year. And if people were interested in that, where would they find? I have my web my uh, website for my coaching, which is jennyquanvocalcoach.com. dot com. Um, that's separate from my regular website, which is jennyquan I think I might. Right. I think I might reach out. Oh, no, work on the voce. Oh. Well, she's done my touch kids up. and me yeah. on occasion yeah, yeah. when uh, yeah, she definitely. when she auditioned for some yeah. some things. But yeah, so that keeps me busy. Um, and then actually, a mutual friend of ours um, has a great kids pop concert that she wanted me to do for a long time. So I've been doing that as well. So I'm I'm keeping pretty busy. Mm-hmm. I'm trying Fantastic. to think what else. Yeah, and still auditioning for different yeah, she things. auditions i don't yeah well, she gets, you know. I, well jenny, don't know, I do not jenny and i got reconnected through acting class right oh. yeah that's how mm-hmm. we had we had a mutual friend and i was like yeah one of his best you, friends yeah i was like how do you know jenny and she's like how do you know stretch <laughs> like she's like I, I i you guys have been in my life for so long well it's so weird too so because bizarre. i knew of, of eric because he's friends with also some of my other friends when they did wicked together yes. and then when you came to class and you were like oh me and micah we go back i'm like what <laughs> is shout this? out to micah yeah. Love yeah. You. Hey. Well, what is the kid? What is this? The kids? A twinkle time. Okay, twinkle so time. so uh, Elisa. Elisa, uh-huh. Elisa. Okay. Yeah. Who? So her, her brother. Yes. Was in No Authority. Yes, correct. I was gonna say, yes. isn't there like a connection yes. there? Josh yes. Keaton. Yes. So correct. Actually, so Josh. So we did one album with Josh, and yeah. then Josh left, and then we got blessed with Tommy. Blessed. Yay. You got stuck with. We got stuck. We had no choice really. Yeah. I said no. Stuck I didn't want him. <laughs> And now love. So, <laughs> again, small world. It's a small, very small it is, world. Especially mm-hmm. in this, mm-hmm. in the 90s crew, mm-hmm. yeah. it is a small world. Mm-hmm. Yes. I well, love that. We want to thank you guys for being a part of our world today. And do, do you have, do you have any, any, your social media handles you want to My social media is Jenny underscore Quan, J-E-N-N-I-E underscore Quan at, um, oh yeah, on Instagram. <laughs> that's Instagram. <laughs> yeah, that's Instagram. I'm on that, Facebook, but. But, uh, but you don't want people they coming can, there on Facebook. Yeah. Oh, they're welcome to oh, come yeah? to okay. Facebook. Right. Yeah. Fantastic. Same thing. You heard it here, folks. Yeah. Heard it here at the Real Showcast. Yeah. Um, again, personally, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Yeah. I really, Thanks, you guys. really love doing the research and really love talking to you guys. Thank you. Thanks so for thank having you. us, you guys. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is your. I, I like this it, new outtake. It, it, yeah, there's, this, there's new this new out thing. Message. New thing I wrote, and and I, I don't have it memorized yet. Oh. So I've got to there you go. But I figured, you know, we had this show. We may as well do something. Were like worthwhile, like like you talked about something that that is helpful, right? Mm-hmm. So, so again, thank you so much for joining us on behalf of the Real Showcast, Eric Stretch and me, Tommy Mack. We're signing off for now, but until next time, a wise man once said, "Have your pets spayed or neutered." <laughs> Down south, they may say uncoutered. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. we we hope you've laughed. We made you feel. Till next time, y'all keep it real. Oh yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.